Hello ladies and gentlemen, Nick here and welcome to this special video. First of all, this will be the first edited video back on the channel after getting a new hard drive. Hooray! I actually got it back in mid-April, I just haven't really been that active in making videos. However, last weekend I did record a big 39 season ranking, which I teased in a YouTube short. And I haven't started editing on that yet. I'm going to do a few other things for that. Or at least that's the plan. Otherwise, I will eventually get around to it. Also, not had a huge amount of time to do said editing of what I could do in any way. Which is a shame because I did want to have it ready. At least the first one or two videos for today. At time recording, it's Saturday the 20th of May. But I'm going to release this on Sunday the 21st of May as my 24th birthday video. Sorry for not doing one last year for my 23rd. Initially, the 23rd hour for the Hooniversals was planned, but then it got pushed back far enough to become the Hooniversal 6th anniversary video instead. Anyway, so because I haven't had enough time recently to do editing or haven't got around to it, then that the uh, 3039 season ranking videos mini series will come later down the line, but it won't be too far off because I have, I've done it, I have to get around to doing it. This video, instead of being the introduction or part one of the mini series of my 39 season ranking, will instead be my discussion and thoughts on Doctor Who the 60th anniversary specials, title reveals, and uh, since this is going to be the first edited video back, um, release-wise at least, and well, again, I haven't edited the 39 season ranking video yet, so it will be the first one I edit as, as well afterwards. So hopefully I'll get it out tomorrow in that case. Also, for the topic I've addressed for the occasion, and I also wear this shirt in the... 39 season ranking, so expect to see a lot more of it, as you may have seen in the preview. So, with all that preamble out the way, this video is about my thoughts on the new titles of the episodes, and also the trailer that came with it. I really liked the other two trailers as well, the one from October, shortly after the uh, the end of The Power of the Doctor, and the Christmas one, as well as also all the mini teasers that have been popping around the last couple of weeks those were really good this particular last trailer aired last saturday um just before eurovision i heard um uh, which we knew was coming we kind of suspected there was a trailer for eurovision coming of course we were hosting eurovision so it's going to be a massive night apparently it's the biggest uh viewing figures eurovision's ever got i've heard but anyway so we had this trailer air i don't really watch eurovision so i wasn't uh, watching this live and um, in fact around that time I was sorting out doing the filming for that said 39 season ranking though I highly recommend checking out my friend Benny Windybank's channel for Eurovision stuff as he's a big Eurovision fan on his channel he had rankings of some of the songs that were uh, for the initial rounds of Eurovision, Eurovision and uh, last Saturday was the final so yeah I definitely recommend checking out that channel for a couple of those um songs to listen to parts of those songs enough preamble okay so the titles for the 360th anniversary specials are the star beast the wild blue yonder minus the ver for that one and the giggle okay so first of all the star beast okay first of all the star beast We've known for a while now that this episode is going to be a TV adaptation of the 1979-1980 Doctor Who magazine comic Doctor Who and the Star Beast, which featured the fourth Doctor, as played by Tom Baker, in what was a, the second run of Doctor Who Weekly, now Doctor Who magazine's um, comic strip. Doctor Who Weekly then became Doctor Who Monthly, and it moved from weekly to monthly, and then it changed its name to Doctor Who magazine sometime down the line. That's why you'll hear it referred to as Doctor Who Weekly and Doctor Who Monthly in some places. And it introduces the villainous... Beep the Meep, who is this little creature um, from the race known as the Meeps, who pretends to be an innocent creature being chased by these aliens known as the Wrath Warriors. That's Wrath with a W. But it turns out that he is actually, in fact, a malicious, sadistical, murderous, horrible villain and completely, utterly insane. He is dastardly and he uses his cuteness and to trick people to pretend he's innocent and nice and lovely and fluffy and everything associated with 
cuddliness, when in fact he's the complete utter opposite. Never judge a book by its cover. And whilst the Wraith Warriors aren't the main villains, they're no saints. They're basically like the Jadoon. So makes sense that Rusty Davis is going to be the one who introduces these guys into the TV series since he created the Jadoon. It also looks like the Wraith Warriors will be having a battle with Unit. So unless they think Unit's getting in the way of capturing their target, then yeah, they're not exactly going to be saints after all in this story either. What's remained to be seen is whether the 14th Doctor, as played by David Tennant, will remember Beat the Meat from not only the Star Beast comic, as well as its Big Finish adaptation from a few years ago with the Iron Legion, but also Beat the Meat's reappearances in Doctor Who magazine comics, as well as other media, such as another Big Finish outing starring Colin Baker's Sixth Doctor, known as the Ravens War. It was a free Doctor Who magazine Big Finish audio story. It came with episode one of Invaders from Mars, which features the Eighth Doctor, played by Paul McGann, and written by Mark Gatiss, or Gattis. The Ratings War featured Toby Longworth as the voice of Meep, and I can't remember who did it for the Star Beast Big Finish adaptation, but I've heard Miriam Margulies is rumoured to be the voice of Beep for the TV episode, so that will be very interesting to hear. The trailers have pretty much confirmed Beep the Meep's appearance, in the definitely in the Christmas one and then in this one, and it looks like they're going to be doing a great use of CG and practical effects for the character. Though I did think that the bit where Donna pokes the eye at Beep, its reaction, and then her reaction was a little stilted to begin with, but as I've watched it a few more times, it's kind of felt a bit more natural, so hopefully it'll be a, even more natural in the actual episode. The basic plot is probably going to follow a similar thing to the Star Beast, but maybe with the Doctor not remembering Beep until nearer to the end, because, as I mentioned, they've met a couple of times. But maybe this is an alternate timeline. Perhaps something from the Big Bang dealt did something, and now neither of them met in the original Star Beast or other in installments. Other than adapting the Star Beast, the other thing this episode will have to do is basically reunite the 14th Doctor, who looks a lot like the 10th, with Donna and her family, and the whole drama that's going to come around with that. Meeting Rose... Temple Noble was, yeah, yeah, Temple Noble, not Noble Temple. Meeting Rose Temple Noble and whether Donna got, chose the name Rose for her because she may remember a Rose. Rose Tyler, played by Billy Piper to be precise, which, by the way, a lot of fans got a little pissy about. The fact that Doctor apparently recast Rose Tyler as a black woman played by a trans actress, when in actual fact it's a completely different character. And... It was silly for people to believe it when it was announced back last May. It's been even sillier people still thinking that when we've long since known it's a completely different character. And even recently, there's still some people still thinking that. <sighs> you know, sometimes this fandom is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Brilliant, even. Molto bene. <laughs> and then sometimes I just want to give it a good old... Bloody beating. Like, not just a jolly good smack bottom, a literal beating half to death, if not three quarters to. <sighs> Some people in this family are absolute shits. <sighs> Episode two, finally, after what, ages? Like, I'm, I've got nearly 17 minutes recording on this thing, including all the preamble and all the bloopers and stuff I'm going to cut. So, I don't know where you guys are up to, but I'm up to just about to turn 17 minutes. Um, so, next episode is Wild Blue Yonder, which is basically kind of a reference to just going into the open sky, going on for another adventure, as well as also a homage to a, another film called Wild Blue Yonder. I think it's foreign, because I don't, I don't think it's a UK film or an English-speaking film. Not sure where exactly it's from, but I think it's in reference to that. There's apparently no or very little footage from this episode. The clips they showed for it have all this kind of redacted splattering across it, like it's flickering across. We don't even know if it's from episode two or episode one even, the end of episode one going in, into episode two. This is the episode that they're keeping under wraps the most. Episode one, yeah, it's basically the Star Beast, but with the 14th Doctor and Donna and family and, and stuff, there's probably a few more secrets few more surprises like the whole Beat the Meep reveal is going to be a surprise to casual audiences and even fans who don't really know Beat the Meep. Um, so 
it's going to be a big surprise there. It's probably more stuff as well, because I'm sure Russell will want surprises for everybody, as well as the people who aren't in the know. And it's just really cool for us fans who are in the know. And we're looking forward to seeing how it plays out on screen. But I'm sure he's got some other surprises for everybody and not just the ones who may not know about Beat the Meep. But other than that, episode one is practically a, a mostly TV adaptation of the Star Beast, depending on whether the Doctor remembers Beep or not, and or anything other that is slightly different. But most of the new stuff will be coming from the Doctor Donna relationship and family relationship in that episode. While Beyonder, on the other hand, is completely top secret. We don't really know much about it, apart from that it might be set in space or on another planet. It certainly looks like, from those clips, it could be in a spaceship. But again, those could easily be from the end of Episode 1 or the start of Episode 3. We're not really sure what's going on in Wild Blue Yonder, but it's very exciting. It's tangible. The only other thing we kind of suspect is that Bonnie Langford's mail is suspicious is supposedly going to be making an appearance in that episode after rumours started splurging around that she might be back for those. Or at least that episode. And after her reappearance in The Power of the Doctor last year, kind of makes sense, although not entirely because um, she was left in space after her final story in Dragonfire. But um, well, let's just say she got back to Earth. Hey, Nissa managed to get back to Earth and marry Tegan in the Goodbye Sarah Jane Smith audio series, and she was left in space after the events of her final story, so it's theoretically possible Tegan, no, not Tegan, uh, Mel made it back to Earth like Nissa did, and time travel. Don't forget the time travel bit too. And of course, Ace had to be dropped off somewhere at some point as well after going to Gallifrey, as in the, um, as heard in the Big Finish orders, or just after stopping travelling with the Doctor. Anyway, so other than the Mel rumours, we don't really know much about Wild Blue Yonder. We just assume that it may be taking place off-world, um, off-Earth. That's about it. It's in, it's kind of basically meaning new adventure. And yeah, anything could happen in that one. It might even be mostly studio-based, which is why we haven't seen much of it on location. There is the theory that this is going to be the one that would feature a past Doctor come back, like, say, Matt Smith, for example, comes back if it's going to be any episode with the exception of Shuti Gatwa in the regeneration post-regeneration scenes in the last one if it's going to be any episode to feature another doctor episode two is the one that most people believe it's going to feature a past doctor and most of them believe it's going to be Matt Smith maybe Peter Capaldi as well possibly Tom Baker I mean, it'd be nice for Tom Baker to come back again since he wasn't available to do Power of the Doctor, which is a shame. And it would mean we'd get one last appearance for Tom Baker because he is in his 90s. I'm worried it won't be long before we lose him as well. So it would be lovely to have him one more time before, if he goes, it'd be nice to have it one more time before that happens. Personally, well, Blue Yonder at the time felt like it could have been a title better suited for Shooty Gatwa's first series for episode one or episode two, like as it's basically meaning brand new adventure. But since we don't really know much more about the episode itself, but since we don't really know much about the episode, it is a pretty decent title for the episode. And heck, it is a brand new adventure for the Doctor and Donna, so I guess that is kind of accurate. I just feel like it would have been better as the title for the first or second episode of series 14, though. Oh, well, we'll just have to wait till the episode airs to find out. The third episode is called The Giggle, and this one sounds like the weakest title of the three, not gonna lie. But it is a decent title. Um, it's accurate to what we're showing in the clip of people are basically being given this giggle in their head, which is causing them to be violent and and fight and cause chaos and stuff. So it's accurate to the story, and I bet it's a, that, that type of title that is basically there to troll people. It sounds so silly and so daft, but it works with the story it's given, and if you don't like it, maybe you're being trolled. <laughs> like I said, I think it is the weakest title of the three, but it does fit with its story by the looks of it really well. Like I said, Wild Blue Yonder, we'll see how that ties in with its story. But the giggle, yeah, that's looking pretty much accurate. Even from these brief shots, it looks pretty accurate. 
This one looks like another Earthbound set story, possibly with Eunice again, and this time Neil Patrick Harris's character is getting involved. The Celestial Toymaker, heavily rumoured, heavy, heavily believed, still not 100% confirmed though guys, it's not 100% confirmed, it's the Toymaker. And if it was the Toy Maker, then no one's going to be surprised it's the Toy Maker, unless they're new to the series or they don't really know who the Toy Maker is. But those in the know, yeah, again, they're not going to be very, very well surprised. So I'm sure there's going to be more surprises in there for us who are in the know. But let's say if he's the Toy Maker, it won't be a big surprise for us. If it's not the Toy Maker, then I look forward to see, seeing who it turns out to be after all. Apparently, he's going to be one of the Doctor's greatest villains ever. Jinx Monsoon is also lined up to play another one of those next series. I don't know if they're going to be new versions of old characters like the Monk or the Toy Maker in this case or whatever. Or if they are just brand new greatest enemies that the Doctor is facing like Fenric was when he turned up in 1989. But yeah, we'll see how it goes. But I am really looking forward to seeing how the Doctor will confront the Neil Patrick Harris character, the Toy Maker or otherwise. And how this whole situation is going to be get, get resolved. Why is he back looking like the 10th Doctor? And why is he back in Donna Noble's life again? What the heck is going on? I expect all three episodes are going to deal with this. And by the end of the third one, we're probably going to find out what the explanation is. Besides the fact that RTD, David Tennant and Catherine Tate thought it would be cool to do it one more time. And then we're going to see the regeneration of 14 into 15. Um... When in that episode and what's going on in that scene, because apparently 15's background, what's behind him is going to be completely different to what's actually going on, which has even suspect, had some fans speculate that he could even turn up in Wild Blue Yonder as the other Doctor for that scene. And it's out there. Timelines are out of sync. Um, possibly, but he, he is wearing 14's costume in, well, parts of 14's costume in the scenes in the trailer. So it could be the post-regeneration scenes for him. For those bits, but hey-ho, you never know. He could turn up in Wild Blue Yonder at some point in his life later down the line. Peter Capaldi's Doctor turned up in Day of the Doctor for a cameo. And then uh, an episode later, Matt Smith regenerated into him. So it's possible Shooty could be the other Doctor in Wild Blue Yonder if it's not one of the past Doctors. But I think the clip from the trailer does look like it's from a post-regeneration scene. Or maybe some a scene set in the Doctor's head like the... Um, what, what did the power of the Doctor have? It was the uh, the cliff edge. Um, so yeah, possibly, but we'll see how it all goes. And then there's also the festive special after that, but they'll be promoted on its own probably afterwards. They'll probably get a lot of heavy promotion after the last special for the 60th. So overall, these new titles are pretty decent. The Star Beast is easily the strongest because it practically is a TV adaptation of Doctor Who and the Star Beast. Wild Blue Yonder, whilst I thought works better as a early Series 14 episode title, sounds like it probably would work for the premise of whatever the story is going to be about. The fact that it's also steeped in mystery also adds to speculation. And then the last one, The Giggle, probably the weakest title, but very accurate to what's likely going to happen in that story. And uh, we're looking forward to seeing what does happen. And what's the heck with all that those puppet things on those puppet faces on the screen? And what's what's going on with that? Will be interesting to find out. Doctor Who will return later this year, sometime in November. It's theorized it could be daily for Thursday, Friday, Saturday, 23, 24, 25 of November. But it could also be weekly over the three weekends uh leading up to presumably the 25th or 26th. Um, if they're going to stick with a Saturday or Sunday. But if they did do them daily, it probably will be Thursday 23, Friday 24, Saturday 25. We'll, we'll see. Anyway, until then, um, yeah, we'll just have to wait and see. We've got six months to go. We've had three trailers already, which is more than any series of Jodie Whittaker's era had by this point in time. Though Series 11 did actually release four trailers between July and start of September ahead of its release in October 2018. And then after that, it, after that is when it got silly and was like a month or so ahead of series broadcast or episode broadcast. Then again, the next time trailers were better in series 12 and 13 to series 11. So 
swings and roundabouts, I guess. Anyway, that's it from me. Thank you for watching my opinions on uh, the new titles for the Doctor Who 60th Anniversary Specials, my thoughts on them, some um, discussions about them, and rambles about other stuff. Hope you have a great rest of the day. I'll see you guys next time. That 39 season ranking miniseries is coming. Promise. Until then, or whatever comes next, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Don't forget to click below to subscribe to the Nicholas Payne YouTube channel.